What's up everyone, Willie Apple here, and today Apple has released the third beta of macOS Sequoia 15.5. In this video, I'll be showing you what is new inside the software. This is not a really big update despite what the update size says, but let's get started. Alright, so the only change inside this update has to do with Apple Care and Warranty. If we were to go back into here, you'll notice that it still takes a little bit to load. But you'll see it looks a lot different. It looks more Mac OS y. Now, if you were to click onto stuff, everything just seems about the same. It's just that this looks a lot different now. It looks more Mac OS y now. Now, I did forget a couple of changes inside of Beta 2, but I will be saying them right now. First things first, if we were to go inside of System Settings, Wallpaper, scroll down, you could not do custom colors. So, for example, you could not do a custom magenta color. That has now been fixed inside the software. And lastly, you'll see right here that you got an all mail button right here. So, if you were to click on the all mail button, it goes straight to all mail. Of course, if you click on promotions again, it goes straight to all mail. But you could not do that before. That is new inside of beta 2, not beta 3. I just forgot to cover it, even though I did have it written down. Alright, there are no other changes inside this beta. Mac OS 16 is going to be the one that starts having changes again, as most of the developers are working on Mac OS 16 instead of Mac OS 15. But if we were to go inside of our widget to see when the next beta is going to release, I'm going to say we're going to get a beta 4. I think it's going to be here on the 28th, and that should possibly be the final beta. Now, a lot of people will be saying that we're going to be getting a couple more betas to go, but this is not the case. People usually refer to the build number right here, and if it has an A at the end, that means that it will be the last beta. That's not the case. That's not what this J means right here. It means that Apple went through quality control a couple of times, and quality control rejected it 10 times before Apple said this was a good beta. But overall, this beta feels very smooth. I can't wait for it to be released to everyone, and thanks for watching. Come like, subscribe, share this with your friends, download my apps in the description down below. Click on the video right here to see if macOS 16 will be supporting Intel, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!